Hey folks, this is Anthony Perfetto. Today, we're going to teach you how to edit velocity in Vegas Pro. Okay, we're in Vegas Pro and working with Counter-Strike Global Offensive today. Okay, now there are two ways to edit velocity, all right? One way is to adjust the playback rate. The other way is to just simply add a velocity envelope and we can edit it that way. I'm going to show you the first way, okay? And this way actually allows for easier syncing of audio, which is uh, sometimes really helpful and uh, sometimes is actually the way to go if you want to uh, add a slow-mo shot to a scene here, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so first what we want to do is we want to group these together, the audio and the video. Now you can either press G and that'll group them together, okay? Or we can select both of them with shift or control and click on both right click go down to group and just create new okay great so now when we edit these when we edit the playback rate these will both sync up nicely okay so you can edit the playback rate in two ways all right you go to properties and then go down to playback rate and just edit there but uh, then you're going to have to screw around with the properties of the audio using the elastic or the classic method and then figuring out the new length. It's just very, uh, it's, it's a little more tedious and time consuming. Okay, so easiest way to do this is to click on your newly formed group of audio and video. All right, go to the end here. Now you see there's a double arrow, right? Well, if we hold control, a squiggly line appears underneath that double arrow. And that means we can now time stretch, okay? So let's do that now. Let's time stretch it as far as we can go. Let's see how far it lets us time stretch. Okay. I dragged it out to one minute. It didn't go that far. So let's see what we ended up with. Looks like we ended up with a 20, uh, 26 second clip. And if you remember correctly, the original clip, let's control Z. The original clip is about six and a half seconds long. So if my math uh, tells me correctly, and you can actually see it down here, it looks like we slowed it down by tw by 25% of its original playback speed, okay? So we can even right click on the video, go down to properties, and you can see the playback rate is at 0.25. Say you wanted to slow it down a little more than 25%. Well, unfortunately, this method only allows for that. It only allows for you to slow it down to 25%, okay? So this is great. Let's take a listen and see how it sounds. Wow, you may be asking yourself, what the hell is that noise? That doesn't sound like anything like a gun. Uh, well, it's because we didn't adjust the pitch. After we adjusted the length of the audio, you also have to adjust the pitch of it to get the correct sound, okay? So let's right click on the audio, go down to properties, and just click lock to stretch by pitch change, okay? Now let's listen to it again. Ah, oh, that's way better, right? Yeah, that actually sounds like a gun in slow motion now, okay? Cool, all right, so that's one method. So you can use that method in a lot of different ways, right? Like say you want fast shooting at the beginning, and then you want to slow it down midway through the shot, like when Mad just gets this headshot here. Well, let's hit S, which will split it, right? And now let's stretch this out a little bit. So we'll go to the end, right? All right, and then say we want it to go back to normal speed after that guy falls on the ground there. So let's hit S at this point, and now what we can do is drag this back to it's about normal. Let's right click here. Let's just change it manually there, and uh, this has none. Okay, great. Alright, so let's make sure we hit properties, lock to stretch. Okay, cool. Let's listen to it now. Cool. Alright, so those are two different methods you can use playback rate to adjust velocity. Okay, let's delete this and let's do it the other way now, which is adding a velocity envelope to the video. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to right click go down to insert, remove envelope, hit velocity, okay? All right, for this next part, I shaved my beard for you. Uh, it's gonna grow back after I'm done this explanation. Uh, best to just not think too hard about it.
Anyway, so let me show you a few of the basic things that you can do with velocity now that you've added a velocity envelope to your clip, okay? So everything starts with right-clicking on this green line that just showed up, right? So you right-click on it. Now, uh, we're going to ignore these for now. I'm going to explain them in just a little bit. But for now, we want to just click Add Point, okay? Great, cool. All right, so now that we have a point, what can we do with it? Well, let's right click again, and you have all of these options that have now appeared, okay? So let's just start from the top and just really run through them real quick. Okay, set to maximum velocity just means that it sets it all the way to the highest point, which is 1000 in Vegas 18, okay? If you're using a past version of Vegas, it's going to be capped at, uh, I think it used to be 300%. So Vegas 18 allows for 1000. Okay, cool. So let's just uh, control Z that to rewind. All right, great. All right, what's the next one? 300%, self-explanatory. Jumps it up to 300%. 200% normal. These are actually the ones that I use more often. The 50, the 40, and the 20%, and even the 0% velocity. These are really quick and easy ways to jump to commonly used velocities, especially when you're dealing with slow motion. I go to 20% a lot. 20% is sort of my bread and butter. Uh, I just like the way that it looks. It's not too slow, and it, it really helps me achieve a lot of cool and interesting effects, okay? Uh, so we'll skip this one real quick. Delete, obviously, it's going to delete the point. Let's just add it. Okay, let's go back now. Set to. This is going to be probably the most used button you're going to use, okay? We're going to hit set to. Now, immediately, a dialog box comes up, a text box comes up that allows you to input any speed that you want in between negative 100 and 1,000, okay? So this is going to be super helpful when we want to dictate very specific velocity values, okay? So you can input any integer in here, right? It's going to be 25 or 10 or negative 90. The one thing you can't do is you can't do in between values, all right? So I just put 60 and a half, right? Well, it rounded up, okay? So you can't do fractional values, all right? It has to be a whole number, okay? Okay, I think that's it for the basics. Let's move on to the next step, and uh, let's grow my beard back. Okay, so let's do that same method, right? So let's go to, let's go to where he gets the headshot, right? And let's right click, add point, okay? And let's actually make this a little bigger so we can see what we're doing here. Okay, now let's right click again, add another point, and that's gonna be our velocity shift there, okay? And we're just gonna drag this down, and let's say we wanna go down to like 10%, right? So now this is very important, okay? This is, this is super important when you're editing velocity, especially with, uh, with video game footage, and with any footage, actually. Capture rate for your footage is very important when you're dealing with velocity, okay? If you slow down a clip lower than the output rate that you will eventually render at, you're going to get laggy footage. Okay, so let us um, let me give you an example. Okay, so I'm going to go to properties, and I recorded this clip at 600 FPS. Okay, so 5% so of 600 is 30, right? And I'm rendering out at 30. So that's the lowest I can go down to before I start getting laggy footage. Okay, so I'm at 10 right now. I can go to 5, and that's the absolute, let's turn that off. This is the absolute slowest I can play this clip at before it starts to lag when I render out, okay? If I go to 2%, so let's bring out our trusty calculator. So 600 times 0 0.02, that's 12 frames I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have when I render out, okay? It's gonna be super laggy, it's gonna be half of, it's gonna be over half of the frames that I actually rendered out at, it's just not gonna look good, okay? So you have to take that into account, okay? Now the other important thing is, and this is a little more advanced, so if you're not, if you don't quite under, understand how frame blending works, then uh, don't worry about this, but if you have a 600 FPS clip and you slow it down to 5%, so it's, you know, so you have 30 frames, you're not going to get any frame blending then, okay? And frame blending is really important to smooth out the scene, to make it, to, to fake almost the, um, the shutter speed and the aperture of a real camera, okay? So that, that motion blur is going to be missing. 
So if you're gonna if you know you're gonna slow down a clip to a very slow speed, make sure you cap at a much higher rate to give yourself a little more room, okay? So if I was slowing down to five percent, I would probably want to cap. Oh God, uh, you're, we're probably looking at I don't know. We're probably looking at six thousand. I would say we're probably looking at six thousand FPS that I would capture this at. And that would probably give me, uh, I don't know, that would probably give me like 10 frames, I would say, 10 blended frames, which still isn't a lot, to be honest, but it's something. You're not going to get uh, like a, an overly laggy clip. So that's a little more advanced technique. Nothing really you need to really worry about if, if you're a little newer, but just, just a heads up. Okay, so, so this guy, matches start shooting, right? And we get to here, okay? And the clip slows down, okay? But if, as you hear, the audio still goes, right? Okay, so that doesn't look right, right? That's kind of off. Okay, so here's what I do when I want to slow down a clip mid-shooting, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off right here, okay? Right where our marker is, all right? And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to bring in single gunshots from uh, CSGO's uh, directory pack. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I've got a great tutorial uh, on, on editing sound effects. It's, uh, it requires downloading a program called GCF Scape, and it allows you to unpack all of the sounds that CSGO uses and has to offer. And they're pristine quality, okay? So uh, make sure you go check that out. I'll link it down below. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to bring in a single gun sound, okay? And I'm just going to drop it right here. So here I've got a high-quality single shot of the unsilenced M4, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrub along, and I'm going to find where he shoots again, and I'm going to sync that. And what we'll do is we'll go to Properties, and I'll slow this down. I'll, I'll make the new length like you know, triple or more than that than what it originally is to really get that hardcore, slow, slow-mo sounding gunshot. Make sure we click lock to stretch. Okay. Now let's listen to it. Ooh, that sounds really good. That sounds really good. Now, if you want to make this punchier, make sure you check out that sound effects editing guide, that tutorial that I released uh, a couple weeks ago. Okay. Like I said, it's linked down below. Okay. But for now, I'm just going to show you what I do to sync this up. Okay. Now, what I also do is we have the first gunshot synced up, right? What I'll also do is I'll go back. I'll sync up this normal shot because what's going to happen is once this tapers off, right, there's going to be just silence and it's going to sound weird. We kind of want a slow-mo sound sort of echoing after it slows down from normal speed. And here, I'll show you what that sounds like. Let's put this up. Okay, so that sort of helps after this tapers off to continue that slow mo sound to sort of make it sound a little more um, a little more natural. Okay, so this thing's we're just gonna have them shoot two shots. Okay, there's the second one. So what we'll do is we'll uh, Control C. And then control V, okay? Actually, it's right there, so let's make sure we do that. Okay, so let's see what that sounds like. Let's make sure we bring this out so you really get that. Yeah, do you hear do you hear that atmospheric sound as like the gun sort of fades off? Okay, great. Cool. Now we want to go back to normal shooting, right? So let's right click at a point and then right click at a point and then let's just bring that to normal. Okay, now here's a really easy way to sync up the audio. Alright, so I'm gonna drag this out to the very end, which is here, as you can see. This little notch shows the end of the clip, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this out to the very end, and then I'm just going to sync them up like that, okay? Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it right there. Let's see how that sounds. 
Yeah, that sounds better. So instead of the fade in, it actually sounds better if we just start this right at the very first shot. Okay, cool. All right. Now, let's show you a little more. Now, now that we've got this technique out of the way and, and, I, uh, and, and you know how to sync audio now um, appropriately with velocity shifts, let's show you some cool things you can do with velocity, okay? So... Uh, there are actually curves that you can apply to these velocities, okay? So the curves are the way that the velocity sort of shifts from one point to the next point, okay? So in order to pick the, the curve that you want in Vegas, you right-click, and you've got these options here. You can do a linear fade, which is just... Let's actually... Let's make this really, really extreme so you can see it a little better, Okay. All right, so linear fade looks like this. It's just you hit a spot, a point, and it just goes directly to that next point, okay? This not usually it you usually don't want linear uh fades. They they they're just they're, they're not smooth enough. They they sometimes are a little too jarring, okay? You can do a fast one. So fast fade will ease in to uh the second uh point here and it will drop off quickly from the first point, okay? A slow fade will actually ease out of the first point and drop off like very fast into the second point, okay? And then a smooth fade will actually just kind of give you this, uh, this very finessed curve, okay? So smooth fade sort of eases out and then eases in to both points, okay? It doesn't prefer one or the other. It sort of, uh, it, it creates a happy balance between the two. And then a sharp fade, it drops off quickly from the first one and then dives into the, the second one, okay? Okay, cool. So, using these techniques, you can actually do some really cool things. And I'll show you how I edit velocity. Okay, so say I want this to start off, like, sort of slow, right? And I wanted to ease out into normal velocity and then ease back in to slow mo. Okay. What I do is I'll create a slow curve and then a fast curve. So it sort of creates this like bridge effect, right? So I like to edit my, my, velocities like this because it, it just it, it creates a very smooth transition especially if you uh, spread it out over a lot of period of time okay but yeah that's that's about it for for velocity editing as far as basics go it this technique you can um, you know use and, and create some really cool velocity changes without hitting the viewer too hard in the face with uh, with bucket velocity editing which is uh, which is what we like to call something like this Never do this. Absolutely never do this. <laughs>